In this rhythm drill, students have to return a high cross court with a volley straight down the wall after it comes off the side wall. The focus is to time the movement right to end up at a favorable position to hit the ball. It is an even more difficult ball to judge than a return of serve as movement from the tee is added with the result that in general this shot is overrun. Volleying a good cross court like this is often preferable than letting it go through to the back wall, getting in less trouble like that and giving your opponent less time. Carefully watch the speed students move at, which is too fast, going slightly in the wrong direction and getting too close at the end. To improve this, it's mostly a matter of better judging how the ball comes off the side wall, meaning a lot of repetition. This is where the squash cannon is ideal for. The more of these difficult shots students will be able to hit, the better they will be able to slow down. It makes a big difference if one can practice the same difficult shot using the squash cannon or always different difficult shots fed by a coach. The ability to practice with consistent feeds of the squash cannon, especially for difficult shots like this, will speed up the learning process dramatically. The goal here is to time the movement slow enough that the foot is set right before striking the ball, which will more likely be the right place. Here the player with the green shirt moves the fastest, which leads to setting his foot too early at an unfavorable position with little balance to strike the ball. Have students focus on when their last foot is set. Again it should be set right before striking the ball, adjusting the position until the very last moment. Mix in as a coach to show what you want your students to focus on. A straight volley down the wall is often a good response to this wide high cross court, making your opponent cover the longest distance when coming from the front court or keeping it safe to regain the middle of the court and avoid getting stuck in the back corners. Once the timing of the movement is correct, which greatly improves the likelihood for players to be at a favorable position, Work on using the correct path to the ball. As the ball is coming off the side wall back towards the middle of the court, players need to take a path that goes more through the middle to be able to create enough space to comfortably hit the volley. The first step is critical. If taken in the wrong direction, it's very difficult to correct, especially the more time pressure you're under. After some repetitions, you can now see a much improved speed of the students of the movement to the ball. Getting the correct timing for such a difficult shot will take time and it's very subtle. The player with the green shirt sets his foot slightly too soon, not at an ideal position, which leads to little balance when hitting the shot. It's not only a great drill to return this difficult cross court, but can also be used as a great rhythm drill.